Hi everyone, long time no see, sorry about that. Finally back with another video. Today's video is gonna be hopefully short. I just wanna do kind of a, not really life update, but a video that offers maybe, in a sense, some kind of closure to the series of videos that I've done in the past about having been outed or coming out to my mom. Because amidst all of these tea update videos that I've been putting up the past several months, I haven't really mentioned my family at all or the various happenings that have been going on on that part of my life. So I'm just gonna touch upon two happenings in regards to my mom and my family. But first, before I do that, I want to backtrack and give a little bit of backstory for those of you who haven't seen those old videos about having been outed to my mom. And while I don't really like to point people towards old videos because I think they're shit, I think all my videos are shit, but if you are curious and you do wanna see those old videos where I talk more at length, about stuff with my family. I will be putting cards in this video that you can reference. They will come up on the top part of the screen. Anyways, long story short, in 2014, my Christian minister of a mom stumbled upon my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, and proceeded to watch all of the videos that were on this channel at that point. Anyways, needless to say that her head kind of imploded and shit happened. She was not understanding, she was not accepting, she was not anything except for very frustrating and offensive. And it's been four long years of touch and go, conversations, arguments, etc. to the point where I became and am very skeptical that she is ever going to fully understand understand or accept my gender or my sexuality, but especially my gender. Obviously, four years worth of happenings cannot be summarized so briefly, but that is the gist of the happenings and my current relationship with my mom. Although, to be fair, over the past year or so, she has tried to be more supportive, and by that I mean she has tried to be as supportive as she could without compromising on her own beliefs, which obviously means that she is not entirely supportive, but yeah. Accepting for her means making more of an effort to use the right name. At first it was very half-assed and very ugh, but she's gotten better at that and she asks after my partner, which I'm going to get into more later in this video, but just a lot of things going unsaid and unaddressed or being very superficially talked about is what allows us to keep the peace. We fight less, but I feel like that's more to do with us not even broaching certain subjects anymore than her being actually accepting of anything. This past December, I went home for Christmas and some things were said that did nothing but renew my determination not to ever tell my mom that I had every intention of starting tea once I got back to Japan. And I did just that. I came back to Japan and started testosterone a week or two later. And I never said anything about it to her, even though it was inevitable, obviously, that she would take notice of some things and, you know, I couldn't hide it forever. But I didn't give a damn. She could find out however she found out. Well, around the four month mark, she found out because my sister, who suddenly has taken an interest in my channel this past year and who is probably watching this, hello, my sister let it slip that I was on testosterone. And of course that was awkward, but I still couldn't care less. I was just annoyed if anything. That first conversation when she first confronted me about being on T was, yeah, you can imagine. I'll leave most of that up to your imagination. It was not fun. But the most awkward thing to come out of that conversation was that she made it perfectly clear that because she disapproved of what I was doing, she wanted nothing to do with me being on T financially. And by that I mean that I have been financially independent for years now, but after I got back to Japan from America, there were a couple of months there where I was in a bad situation financially and couldn't afford to transfer funds from my Japanese account to my US bank account to pay off my student loans and credit card bills. So I asked her for a loan. And get this, a couple of hours after the initial confrontation over Google Hangouts video chat, she sent me a text message, I suppose after having molded over a little bit, asking me 
if I was short on money because I was paying for tea and saying that she refused to enable me to do what I was doing to my body and that I needed to get my priorities straight. And like, that is so fucked up and offensive and insulting and just a million things. I went off on her. I did, I went off on her and we haven't really talked about tea at all since. Which is fine with me, I couldn't care less. I never wanted to have the conversation of tea with her to begin with. As far as I'm concerned, she can deal with it on her own in silence if she so chooses. She has Google, she has the internet. If she has questions, she can come to me respectfully without the fucking judgment and disapproval and bullshit. But she has yet to do that and I'm fine with that, whatever. She has access to this channel. She can watch this video and see me talking shit, whatever. Hi mom, if you are watching this. Me being on testosterone is yet another subject to add to the list of subjects of things that we just don't talk about. Because as long as I'm here in Japan, very far away, not actively in her life, she can forget about things. Just put it out of her mind, which Actually, the other day we had a video chat, as we often do on the weekend, because that's just a habit that we started 11 years ago when I left America. But I was calling her for the first time in two weeks, and she asked me if I had just woken up because my voice was deeper than usual, and I said no. And she looked puzzled for a second until, you know awkward silence as she realized why my voice is deeper. And yeah, awkward silence was awkward. So I just continued on the conversation with asking her how she was and it went on from there. We did not talk about it, no words were said, just silence, move on. That pretty much sums up me and mom and tea among other various topics. We don't talk about it. So yeah, apart from tea, things have more or less been okay. I mentioned in my last video that I have a partner now and I have had a partner for eight months. Just really haven't mentioned it on here yet. I'm getting to that. Well, my partner who lives in the States came and stayed with me for five weeks. So that's why I was MIA for the past month or so on YouTube and on other social media, Tumblr included. Sorry about that, but Really, not sorry. Given my aforementioned zero fucks to give about what mom thinks attitude, you can't imagine that I also have zero fucks to give about my mom finding out about my relationship. But at the same time, I also refuse to bend over backwards or go out of my way to keep something or someone a secret, so yeah. I told my fam about my partner and about them coming to stay with me for over a month. Of course, the first thing that my mom and sister wanted to know was, were they a he or a she? Why was I using they? But at the same time, since I referred to them as my partner, they, especially my mom, did what people tend to do, which is when you don't say that you have a boyfriend as an AFAB person. If you say partner, then it's assumed that your partner is a woman. As such, my mom's reaction to me having a partner was very lukewarm. She literally said nothing. There was just awkward silences. Every time I casually dropped mention of my partner into a conversation with her. It was, I wanna say like two or three video calls of having casually dropped the fact that I have a partner into the conversation before she actually asked after them. And yeah, awkward, awkward, but whatever. I expected no less. After poking my mom about her lack of of anything in regards to the information that I was trying to tell her. Mom eventually started asking after my partner and things are okay. We haven't had an in-depth talk about it. In fact, at one point, my sister asked to see a picture of my partner and my sister has been the most supportive of anyone in my family. My sister is awesome, aside from, you know, outing me and stuff. Hi, don't do that. I get to tell people 
things, okay? I know you're watching this. Anyways, I showed my sister a photo of my partner because, yeah, whatever, people want to see photos. And then my mom, having overheard my conversation with my sister, because they live together, asked to see a photo, and I was just like, no, no. You're being so just about acknowledging the fact that I'm mentioning I have a partner. Why would I show you a picture of my partner? You have not earned that right yet. Like, I just told her that. And she was like, eh, okay. And, you know, eventually she started asking after my partner more. And eventually I was like, okay, you're going to see my partner here with me in this apartment when we video chat. So I might as well show you a picture of them before I'm on a video chat with you with them here and things get like super awkward. So here, here's a photo. And yeah. Mom still is not on board with non-binary anything. My partner is non-binary, by the way. My partner is Maverick. Bet you didn't see that coming. Anyways, to my mom, it is a same gender relationship. And this is my first relationship since having come out to myself in 2012. My first ever relationship with a fellow non-binary person. My first visibly queer relationship at all. I'm navigating a lot of things, especially this past month with them having been here. They've gone back to the States, sadly. But yeah, lots of happenings, lots of thoughts, lots of, hmm. Yeah, there'll be lots of blog posts and YouTube stuff as I process things. But my mom is, she's not being disrespectful. She's not being negative. She's being as supportive as she can be without compromising on her own beliefs. Which, when it comes to my relationship status, my partner is less overtly disapproving than it is when it comes to gender things. And that has been the case since day one, since day one of having been outed to her, since the first video that I made about having been outed to her. You may note, if you go back and watch that video, which I'm not telling you to do, that she has always been kind of eh about sexuality stuff. She doesn't approve of it, but eh. She had her suspicions there before I was even outed to her. But when it comes to gender stuff, she's just like very hands off, very disapproving. Things have gotten better. And that's one thing that I, that's the thing that I want to end this video on. I know that I am not the only person in a situation like this with an unsupportive parent or unsupportive parents who may be calling themselves being supportive, blah, 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 but they're really not. Or they just flat out were not supportive at all, but they've made a little progress. Maybe even just a little bit, but it's taken time. And, and a few years back, there was that whole it gets better campaign and stuff. And for some people, it does really get better. It does. For others, it never gets better in terms of family never being accepting, and sometimes you just have to cut off that family. And for yet others of us, things do get better to a point. But sometimes that getting better is not so much the other person suddenly becoming more accepting and supportive. Sometimes they make a little progress, maybe, but the biggest reason why it gets better is because you finally are able to find a place where you are comfortable with things not getting ever entirely better with your family or with a certain person. And you have other means of support outside of your family and you are just, in my case, apathetic and have zero fucks to give about it ever getting completely better with your family. And because of your lack of fucks to give, you are able to get into a better mental headspace and able to go on with your life and life gets better without focusing on your unsupportive family member or family. That's totally legit. That's totally okay. That's a thing. Sometimes things get better because of you, not because of them. And that's okay. Anyways, I don't foresee myself talking about my mom or my family anymore on this channel. I am over it. Zero fucks to give. Whatever. I mean, if something monumental happens, I'll throw mention of it out there. But thank you for listening to me rant on and on and on about stuff that ain't that interesting. And yeah, I appreciate you watching.
I am procrastinating my tea update video so hard because of reasons, but that's probably going to be the next video. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Tosafi should have his own channel, or at least I should update his Instagram. He would easily get so many more followers than me. Wouldn't you, Kelsey? Yeah, you totally would.